Hey guys, uh, another video coming. Uh, this one's a little late because I've been busy with work. Um, I am going on uh, 12 days today, so it's 1 o'clock in the morning Thursday. So by the time I go to bed and go to work later in the day today, it'll be 12 days in a row. Um, and I've had a lot of overtime, a lot of 12 hour days. Uh, I got, last week, I got um, close to 70 hours of work. It doesn't bother me any. It's a little mentally tiring. Uh, physically, it's not. Um, you know, it's just part of playing the game for right now. Um, building up seniority, sticking around, figuring out what I want to do with this new company. Uh, figuring out, you know, slowly what I'm going to be there. and. I don't plan on being, you know, a, a grunt forever. So, just kind of playing the game for right now. But I uh, want to talk about something that everyone struggles with, at no matter what age it is. And it's tied to who we are as human beings, and that is finding and fulfilling a purpose in our lives. Um, it is one that, that is a question that a lot of people go searching for for their entire lives and never find out the answer. Um, a lot of people have this so tied to who they are as, as who they are personally that eventually they take their own lives over. They commit suicide or they self-destruct and hurt other people around them because they don't feel like they have a purpose and they don't have any worth. And when it comes to finding a purpose is understanding what purpose is. Purpose or serving a purpose is just that. People get caught up, and this is my personal opinion, get caught up way too much in the last part of that phrase. Purpose and not the serving part. Serving a purpose means you are serving. It means that you are giving of yourself to something bigger than yourself or another individual in your life. And one big misconception is that purpose is about you. And it isn't. Purpose is not about myself. My purpose is not about me. Your purpose is not about yourself. It is not tied to yourself. What your purpose is tied to is other people. What your purpose is tied to is your family, your friends, your spouse, the people you come across with at work, every common day folk that you may run to in at the grocery store or at a restaurant or wherever you might be. Or even if it's never coming into contact with someone at all through charitable work. Serving a purpose has absolutely nothing to do with you. You know, we, all the way down into junior high growing up, they had me at my school, and I'm sure this is the same a lot of places, taking these questionnaires and things, trying to figure out what you're interested in. And then we would list out a number of jobs tied to whatever your score or whatever that test said about you. And then from junior high, from that point on, they were trying to sell you on that that's what your purpose was and that's what you were supposed to do in life. And that is how you would serve society. Well, it's not the case. And then you get into situations where people spend years and years and years in college changing majors or dropping out 
in general just wasting money because they feel like they can't find their purpose and they were told three years that this is what they were supposed to do by their parents, by their grandparents, by their friends, by their extended family, by people at school, whatever it might have been. And they don't feel fulfilled because it doesn't, it isn't, for one, it isn't tied to them and it doesn't make them feel good because they don't give back, because they don't serve in that capacity. That career does not help them and allow them to serve in a way that they want to. Trying to find a purpose is not easy. Trying to find a way that allows you to give back is hard because there's a lot of menial small things that you can do to give back that are nice, but it doesn't make you want to get up and, and get out of bed every day. And so when you get a job out of college or out of high school or whatever, and you don't feel like you're serving and you don't feel like you're giving back and you don't feel like you're fulfilling a purpose and you're not giving yourself to another individual or individuals, then you feel like you have nothing because you're searching for that one thing. But I think we need to look at the broader picture and understand that we all have multiple purposes that we serve. And we all have multiple jobs that we do. For me, example, my purpose, or my purpose is, are to be a good father, to provide for my son and work hard, to be a good son and love my parents, to be a good sibling and love my brother and my sisters, to be a fantastic friend to all, all my friends that I still stay in contact with throughout all these years. My job is to take care of the people around me at work and make sure that they work safe and that they do their jobs well. And, and I know that they will make sure that I do my job well because that is, that is my purpose there. And that is where I am right now. You know, another purpose that it, for me is I'm part of an amazing music team at my church. And I play music and I encourage those guys and they encourage me and we, and we serve a purpose together. And we serve each other and we take care of each other. And one thing that I think nobody tries to do anymore is be multifaceted. They don't put themselves in multiple areas. And when you don't do that, and you lose, or you try to find that one thing that helps you serve your purpose or serve others, and you don't have it, you feel like you have absolutely nothing. So, understand what your role is in your own life and the people around you. Whether it's your job and taking care of people, whether it's your community or your church, and helping take care of them, whether it's your husband or your wife, because they are your purpose, and your kids are your purpose, because it is your job to raise them upright, provide for them, take care of them, so that they can find their purpose and they can take care of other people down the road. When you have all these things thrown together, you have all these jobs thrown together, that is what gives you purpose. All the little things, all the little jobs, all the little ways that you serve and give back to others, that is your purpose. Don't buy into the fact that your purpose is somehow tied to, <clears throat> to what you make on a paycheck or the company that you work for or, or it, whatever it may be, something like that, or a career or a job title, okay? That is not your purpose because guess what? That job title that you have or that job position that you had, there's probably thousands of people that have had that before you and there's probably going to be millions of people after you that are going to have that job title in that position and that same amount of pay and probably that same company car that you drive so if it's so fleeting as that it's been there for forever and it's always going to be there then why treat it as this amazing thing 
that is once in a lifetime. I'm not saying don't take care of your job. I'm not saying don't not put in the effort at your job. What I am saying is don't tie yourself down to one thing. Don't tie yourself down to a career. Always be willing to allow yourself to work in different arenas and do multiple things at once. You know why I come to the gym? Because it's fun for me. Because it allows me to fulfill my purpose for the others around me. This is me going to the gym is me taking care of myself. The two hours that I'm here is my me time. I go to work for eight to 12 hours. And then right after I come to the gym and I work on me and I keep myself in check and I work hard afterwards because this is where I think, this is where I do all the challenging of myself internally and I figure things out so that when I leave here and I go to bed and I wake up the next morning, I can take care of my son the way I need to the next morning because that's my purpose. I can help my parents do whatever they need to right now. Right now, they're re redoing an entire kitchen and I'm not there much with this new work schedule to be able to help, but I'm trying to help as much as I can. That's part of my purpose. And then late nights when my buddies, like Ryan and Isaac, whenever they need something or they need someone to talk to, I'm mentally prepared and ready to, to talk to them if they ever need anything. So my buddy Ryan's getting ready to be a brand new dad and he just got married a little bit over a year ago. And that's scary and, and, and exciting all at the same time. And he doesn't have any other any other guy friends that have really gone through that except for me, you know? So you have a purpose and your purpose is taking care of those around you that you love. It is making sure that day in and day out you do whatever you need to, whether it's something as simple as going to therapy or reading your Bible or spending time in prayer or in meditation or going to the gym like I do or just going on runs or just kind of, or just reading a book or listening to a book or whatever you might want to do or just sitting in silence for a little bit. Mentally taking care of yourself so that you can take care of others. That is your purpose. That is your job. Be multifaceted. Don't throw all your eggs in one basket because if you do that and that one thing falls apart and you take care of something or someone and it disappears and it goes away, then you're left with nothing, okay? Spread yourself out. Spread yourself thin a little bit, even if you have to. Right now, I'm spread a little thin. Mentally, I'm fried. I don't have, and to be honest, I don't have a ton of energy, mentally. Mentally, right now, I'm on cruise control and I'm kind of just, I'm bearing down and I'm, and I'm, and I'm doing the best I can right now. I'm stretched thin, but I'm doing the best I can. And I'm still spending as much time as I can with my son while working 12 hours. And I'm helping my parents where I can. And I'm doing the best I can at work to make sure people around me are working safely and doing their jobs and, and all that fun stuff. I'm trying to be a good friend and a good sibling to my brothers, my brother and my sisters. And it's just, you just gotta keep going. And I know it's hard, I know it sucks, but you'll find a way. Because if I can figure it out, and I'm only 27 years old, I got a lot of years ahead of me. If I can figure it out, and I'm still not even 30 yet and stupid, still, then, then anyone else can figure it out. Okay, and you have a purpose, you have a job to do, and it isn't about you. It's about taking care of those around you. It's about doing your job, being the best that you can be for others, okay? Hope you guys have a great day. Hope you guys have a safe week. Keep grinding, keep working hard, and do what you